Hey, beastie people, welcome back to the channel. So for today, we're going to look at a relatively popular fish in the hobby, the albino corridora. Now, the albino corridora is a variant of the peppered corridora. They have the scientific name Corridori Aeneas. Most of these are going to be a captive bred species. They're going to get upwards of three inches in length. They got a lifespan of about five years, of course, depending on living conditions. So as long as their water quality is good and they're fed a good food, you should have them for a decent length of time. They're going to want to be kept in a small group. So get a nice small group of five to give these guys a good shoal, give them plenty of places to hide, and you're going to get some nice characteristics out of your fish. You're probably not going to want to house these guys in anything smaller than a 20, just in case they might get a little bit bigger than the three inch mark. 10 is going to be a little too small for these guys. I'm sure some people have done it, but I would say go with a 20 gallon. pH wise, you're looking at a 5.5 to 7 and water temps of about 72 to 80. They are, of course, an omnivore. So some people just assume because, you know, it's going to be on the bottom of their tank that they are just an algae eater. Well, just because they're a bottom dweller does not mean that they're an algae eater. They're probably looking for food, anything they can get out of your substrate. So you need to feed them a good quality food. Hikari's sinking wafer. It's got quarries and loaches all over it. That's a great choice. Hikari's mini carnivore pellets are a new one I've started feeding. The fish seem to go crazy for them. Bug bite bottom feeders are also another good thing to do. They are going to primarily spend their time on the bottom. So you need things that are going to sink so they don't get too outcompeted for food. As far as tank mates go, they're a very peaceful fish. So pretty much anything you want to try putting with them, you should be okay as long as it's a community fish and a peaceful fish, and it's not going to be bothering them too much on the bottom there. Typical tank mates are usually most of your Rasbora species, most of your Tetra species, guppies, and other live bearers, to name a few. Overall, these fish are a wonderful addition to any tank, community or otherwise. They're going to help give your bottom level some action help clean your substrate up a little bit, but again, make sure you're feeding them. And they just look kind of cool swimming around in the bottom. Here. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a like and remember to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the albino quarries and I'll see you in the next one.